Welcome back to Melbourne. Thank you. This is Lisa. I'm oh. excited to make chicken and waffles. Sherry, you have a seat. We'll be back. Come on, let's go cook, girl. This is where the magic is happening. We are making Sherry Shepard's favorite dish. How did the idea of chicken and waffles come together? It's actually started right here in Harlem. There's a restaurateur by the name of Mr. Wells, but he had a lot of jazz musicians that would come in three, four, five o'clock in the morning. Some of them wanted breakfast and some of them wanted dinner. So he put together Southern Fried Chicken and waffles and it was a huge hit. Is it a huge hit here at Melba's? It's an amazing hit. I actually slayed the filet, Iron Chef Bobby Flay, what? with my signature Southern Fried Chicken and Eggnog Waffles. What do we need to make this? farm raised chicken here, and then let me get some of the seasoning. I'd prefer the five spice. Let's be generous with the seasoning. Black pepper, Massage under the skin, in. that's right. Let's marinate it like it's our best friend. Let me get some of that smoked paprika. Look at that color. Don't ever be stingy with the seasoning, unless it's salt because when you put too much salt, there's nothing you can do about that. And there's some garlic. Garlic? Yeah, some buttermilk. Keeps it really nice and moist. The last thing you want is dried chicken. So we're gonna put this on the side and we're gonna let it marinate. Now for the waffles. We're gonna mix our dry ingredients first, and then we're gonna mix our wet ingredients. Let's take our all-purpose flour, and then we're gonna take some sugar, with some cinnamon. And here we have nutmeg. You wanna make sure that we get that sugar and that nutmeg and cinnamon in every part of that flour. And now we're going to mix the wet ingredients. Four eggs, half and half, a third of the heavy cream, the eggnog, and then we have some organic vanilla extract. We want the eggs to still have a nice consistency. We still want them to have body. Four teaspoons of butter, and that's unsalted butter. I can't wait to try these. You are no joke. <laughs> you are no joke. Yum. All right. Lovely. It's going to be a marriage between our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients. I'm big on taste. And when you come here, I want you to really taste the flavors of the eggnog. That sits for a minute. One Just egg. Fun. It's going to help the flour to stick a little bit. It gives it a nice coating, a nice breading. I love that crispiness. And crunchiness, and right? Yeah. Now I need the brown paper bag. What does this paper bag have to do with your chicken? It's the best way to really coat my chicken. This is the way to go. This is the way to go. Just shake that up a little bit. So now you're going to take your chicken, mm -hmm. one piece at a time. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. You did it the cute way. We used to do it like this. So you see how that chicken is really coated evenly? That's what you get when you use the brown paper bag. That's what my mother did and that's what my grandmother did. I'm gonna deep fry this chicken and then I'm gonna head over and do the waffles. It's gonna take about two and a half minutes. I'll meet you back at the table. All right, be ready to eat. <laughs>